bed. Turn off the lights when you come in, will you? Hank? Ms. Webley, do you know where Hank went? Still planning on castrating that stallion of hers tomorrow? The vet's coming first thing. Well, then I imagine she's out with a horse. I don't know why she can't understand. That's a female prerogative. Not to understand anything that you don't want to understand. She's a good girl, and you know it, Mr. Bradford. Well, hell, I know that. Nobody has to tell me she's good. She's so damn bullheaded. You say that like it's something you just discovered in the Guinness Book of World Records. That's really funny. You raised her. Yeah, well, I raised her from the time she was three. Sometimes I don't understand how either one of us has managed to survive. Don't you love her? No, what kind of a dumb question is that? Of course I love her. You figure she loves you. Yeah, I figure she does. That's how you survived. Don't be mad at me. Your vet's here. Stallion in the herd is nothing but trouble, you know that. That's not the reason. Oh? Mother's horse was a stallion. Yeah, that's right, he was. She had him for years, too. Gentle as a lamb, she used to say. Then one day he went plumb crazy and he killed her. Well, I'll be damned if I'm gonna let that happen to you. Outside, you'll catch him and you'll hold him so the vet can give him a shot. Otherwise, he just might break his neck. Looks to me like you've got two choices, Henrietta. A dead stallion or a live gelding. You're not showing very good sense.
give him tonight to calm down. I'll go look for him tomorrow. Got your ears on. Hank, you're giving driver education a bad name. Now talk to me. Look, I saw the Mustangers when I was out riding. They might have read. Would you give me that again? Those Mustangers from Three Bends. I saw them taking a herd to the railroad. Red might be with them. Well, I don't know what you think you can do about it, but you wait for me. That's a tough bunch.
Well, where have you been lately? Oh, rodeo here, rodeo there, you know. Nevada, Wyoming, riding the circuit. Oh, that's good. Always come home now, huh? Just can't get along out here. How you doing, Charlie? I ain't seen you a long time, boy. One, one? Yeah. I counted 30 of them. How many do you think it'd be in the valley, Jake? Oh, well, I don't know. But I tell you what I do know. There's a lot more down there, because this ain't the herd I saw yesterday. I tell you something, boy, that is one hell of a lot of dog food. How can you treat horses like that? Well, if it ain't the little Bradford Twitch. You come home from college to lord it over to peons. Tell me how you can. Easy. 37 cents a pound makes it easy. You're not human. Any of you. You're just not human. Oh, now, darling. Human Miss Bradford. Don't you go away all put out with us poor. Humble little peons. Why don't you stick around and have a beer with us? You let go of me, you balloon-bellied ape! No! Let's go No, away. apologize now. Hey, Jay. Jay, take it easy, will you? Better apologize right now, you little twitch. Not my daughter, you don't. brother-in-law of yours. Everybody lays a finger on my daughter again. Uh, I'm gonna kill him, you hear me? Don't you even look her way. Precious Wait, brother, me. family. Too good for anyone even to look at, huh? Stop it, Jay. Go on. Oh. Oh. <coughs> Try it, Charlie. Hey, little brother, you coming? Yeah, I guess so. I'm surprised you ain't walking around with a 44 in a quick draw holster. I wish you didn't stop it until he was losing. Well, we're a pretty close family. Ah. I'm sorry. Hold still, though. Oh, well. Wow. You know, if we don't do something, they're gonna get all those Mustangs down in the valley. You, what do you mean, we, white man? There's got to be something we can do. I don't know if you feel so strong about it. Why don't you just have those fellows arrested, huh? They'll get a $2,000 fine or a year in jail or both. Yeah, if the sheriff didn't happen to be the leader's brother-in-law. If we could just get them to federal land, then they'd be safe. Oh, now, wait a minute. There you go with that we again. You're as good as new. No man with a daughter like you is ever as good as new. I'm lucky to be alive. <laughs> and you can forget about that federal land because there's none around here. Well, where's the closest? Well, a Rantan Reservation, I guess. That's 150 miles west of here, so you can just forget that. And what about if we shipped him by train? There's no railroad within 100 miles of Rantan Reservation, so you can forget that. Well, then what about... No, Hank, please, just forget it. Forget it. Did you hear me?
Bet your butt it was that stupid Bradford twitch. You found yourself some hairs. My sister's right, Jay. Girls done whipped your butt and you don't even know it. Not over yet, Walter. So why don't you just buzz off down the road and find yourself some hitchhiker to pick up? See what I mean? You won't listen. You won't listen to nobody. I could have been a champion baton twirler. Everybody said so. Oh, I spilled my beer. Now look at me. Here with this rug rat. And I ain't 
regular no more, neither. That's what you've done to me. Oh, Leo. Seems to me you could provide for my sister a little bit better than you've been doing. I don't much care for the way you talk to her, neither. I don't much care for the way you talk to me, neither. Whose wife is she, anyway? My wife, right? That's right, Jay. Marlene's your wife. I know that for a fact, because I was at the wedding and seen the sacrifice. Oh. You've done better in Vegas playing the nickel machines. Truth be known, you probably could have made out better selling pencils at a truck stop. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many pencils you would have sold. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Give me a beer, will you, honey? Rankin. You reckon he can find none? Ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> hey, little brother. Get a beer over there for me. Way, making good time, too. Then this girl comes out of nowhere. And she ran him off, huh? Yeah, right into the trees. Reckon it's that Bradford girl again? Well, who the heck else do you think it is, Hopper? Who the heck else do you think it is? Well, what do you reckon she's up to? Well, no matter what she's up to, because we're going to get them. We're going to get them horses, unless she aims to babysit them the rest of her life in them friggin' trees. Come on! Let's go, little brother. some more horses towards Three Bends. Well, I suppose you saved them. For now. I figured as much. I counted 28 head in the herd. I put them up in the box canyon where you used to take me when I was little. There's enough grass and water up there to keep them until I bring them out. You want to tell me the rest of it? Red's with them. I'm taking them to Rantan Reservation. You yourself said it was the closest federal land. Yeah, and I also told you it was 150 miles from here, too, didn't I? Well, you got a prairie to cross, then the Badlands, then you got a river and a range of mountains. The only pass through those mountains is a busy highway. That highway is bumper to bumper with truck traffic. Look, Hank, you do understand why you can't do it, don't you? I'm taking them. And yeah, we'll talk about it. I've already made up my mind. I said we'll talk about it! Changed none, if that's what you're wondering. 
Still goes off drinking, chasing wild horses with them dickhead friends of his. Leaves me setting home with this popcorn fart here. I got a lift this morning on passing Peterbilt, come in town looking for a job. Christ, the only job in this shithole is looking for a job. Even though I did get a job, what would I do with that? Except maybe hang him out on clothesline every morning, let folks come by and throw darts at him. <laughs> you got any money, Charlie? I wouldn't ask, but Sheesh. there ain't nothing at home to eat except the cat. Is it that bad, Marlon? Bad. Charlie, I could do better in a ghost town outhouse. I can't probably never get back to you. It's okay for me. It's all right. You know I'm not going to let you do it. All right, now look. I've called the forestry service, and there are three water holes. One is here, one is here, and one is here. Now, if the third one wasn't there, I wouldn't try it. But it is there, and they can make it. <laughs> look, Hank, for once, why don't you be reasonable? I've explained to you why it can't be done. You can't take a herd of wild horses across the prairie. All right, listen to me, the Dad. I, wait, I've got mountain. something I, I want to ask you. I've got something are. I want to ask you. I want you to think about it, though, and answer me honestly, will you? Oh, yes, I've always been honest with you. Until now. Well, what the hell's that supposed to mean? Oh, well, don't get your ass up about it. Well, now, just where did you learn to talk like that? Oh, hmm? now, it's Is not that the way they teach you how to talk in now, college? Listen to me. Oh, that's real nice for now, a young girl on, like would you, you listen my Listen to ass. me for a minute. Now, well, I if just. If I was don't a boy, like if I was your son, would you try to stop me? Well, I don't think that's a fair question. It's an entirely fair no, question. No, I don't think it is. I don't think that's if fair I at all. If I was your you're... son, would you try to stand in my way? No, if you were my son, I'd be telling you exactly what I'm telling you. Now, look, you taught me to ride, you taught me to shoot, yeah. brand a calf, break a horse, everything you would have taught a son, right? Well, wait a minute. You trying to tell me that I raised you to be a boy? No, Is that no, what you think? You think no, I raised you to be a boy? No, no. You taught me not to be afraid. You've taught me more than most girls learn from their mothers. And I'll always love you for it. But you also taught me everything you would have taught a son. And now, because I want to do this thing, because I'm a girl, you're telling me it can't be done. No. No, I'm telling you exactly what I would be telling a son. It can't be done. I, I know. You would argue with him, and you'd call him crazy and everything. But in the end, if he insisted, you'd call him a chip off the old block. Because you're capable of being that corny. It's not corny. It's Dad, not... I'm just saying that if I was your son, you'd be proud that I wanted to do this. You'd be proud I had enough guts to try it. Just because I'm female doesn't mean I can't be that chip off the old block, too. Mm. When did you plan on leaving? <laughs> Thank you. Think you ought to take a remount? Well, he is my remount. I've been riding red most of the time. Well, when you get him in the Badlands, you won't be able to sleep, you know. Those horses will be remembering the water and the grass they left behind, and they'll turn back on you. Well, actually, it's the mountains and that highway I'm thinking about. Bye. Don't pretend to understand how you think you're going to do it. But I know of, nobody's ever tried to herd wild horses through traffic before. There was a time when nothing had been done before. Oh, shit. <laughs> See you later, Pace. Bet your sweet ass you will. Where'd you go to college?
Find him? Listen, Connors, when I signed on, it was for horse herd and not for combat. What the heck are you talking about? That's what I'm talking about. She nearly killed me. She shot at you? Oh, come on, Connors. Don't be so goddamn dumb. What are you calling dumb? All right, but what do you think made that hole? A black and decker drill? You mean to tell me that she's still out there with them horses? She's got them out in the prairies. She's heading west. Yeah, but there's nothing west of here except the Badlands and the mountains. That... Tell me about it. Sure can shoot. Don't make sense for her to pick them horses up with the bad man. It just don't even make sense. There's no feed for them out there. Nah, there ain't no damn water either. Not this time of year. All the holes all dried up, but there is of them. Maybe she's insane. Well, that's something we ain't thought about. Come on, Red, let's go. Yeah! more than you do. She's your age, isn't she? Why? Well, I figure. A girl might think that you're kind of good looking. And you're good. You were always good and sincere and sensitive. That's why you were Mama's favorite. You remember? Charlie. You said that before, Jake. You said that lots of times before. Is it true? Oh, yeah. Tell you what, though. You do me a favor. Don't ever say it again. Don't ever threaten me, little brother. Yeah, I figure a girl think you're kind of good looking. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing with this thing? Jesus! Hang on a minute! Oh, shit! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute, will ya? 
with you too, huh? Who's that? Your brother and those animals. Just what are you doing here anyway, Lutch? I'd just like to know what you think you're gonna do with the horses. And why should I tell you? No reason. Just thought I'd ask. So you can go back and tell your friends? You know, if you keep them pointed west, you're gonna hit the Badlands. I know that. I hadn't counted on polluted water holes. You can go tell your friends to go get their dog food cans ready, because I'll be turning back in the morning. Where'd you pick up that fool? What's it matter to you? It's just another animal, isn't it? Listen, my brother's a mustanger, I'm not. So what are you doing with him? If I'm with a hooker, does that make me one? Hmm? Saddle up, let's go. Let's go? Let's go where? I know some clean water. And why should I trust you? You could just lead me into a trap, right? Because, little lady, you don't have any choice. <laughs> Are you OK? Save these horses? Presto. Federal land. Where'd you take your course in logic, Charlie? Well, I tell you, my logic hasn't quite figured out how you're gonna get them over them mountains. Sure wish I could help you, but I can't. Bothers you? Yes, ma'am. You wouldn't like to clear it up for me, would you? Thanks for the water, Charlie. I really appreciate it. Come 
Yeah, yeah. Are wake you? <laughs> no. Nah. Midget here woke me up. <clears throat> then what can you expect when you get at a yard sale? <laughs> hey. What's the matter, Charlie? Did you never see the togetherness before? Yeah. Sleeping. Got in late last night. He always gets in late. Or not at all. I'll get him. Reservation. Oh, gotta be 150 miles from here. Uh huh. Across the Badlands. Uh huh. And over the map. Yep. <laughs> You're full of it, Charlie. I'll be seeing you, Jake. Okay. You're not putting me on. I mean, she's really headed for Rantan. Now, maybe she can get him across the Badlands, maybe. But then she's got to get him across the river, right? And the Crow's Nest Pass is the only way she'd get him up over the mountains. And that pass is a friggin' highway loaded with diesel semis. Now, you tell me how she expects to do that. How in Christ's name does she expect to do that? What do you want from me, Jay? I told you she's pointed for Rantan. That's all I know. I like her guts. Which side are you on, little brother? Huh? Which side are you on? I think your whole thing's dumb, Jay, and I thought I told you to stop calling me little brother. Dumb, huh? We're going after that girl. That's nice. I ain't going with you. Nobody asked you to. Matter of fact, you stay out of my business, you hear? I said, you hear me? I hear you, Jay. Good another beer, honey. Now when I'm out here on my own, come back to me. The things you said when I was young. You always told me to be strong. You said, don't be afraid. You've got to do what must be done. to me 
soon my tomorrows will be gone they will be yesterdays and all my dreams might never be Now, you say this kid's doing this all by herself? All by herself. Well, she don't have much between her head and guts. She's got more guts than you can hang in a barbed wire fence. Hi, right, Charlie. What's the matter with you? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? Boy, you look like something the cat dragged in. By the way, where's your brother? Is he still in that Bradford girl's case? Do you want to know something, Charlie? I'm on her side. Tell me why, Charlie. I'll tell you why. Everybody says she's stuck up, right? Says Bradford. Well, if she's so stuck up, what's she doing out there in the desert with all those mangy mustangs? You know, most people sit around scratching their ass and picking their nose. They don't play the game, but she's playing the game. She's out there with no bluster and no holler. How do you think she's going to get him over them mountains, Charlie? I don't know that. But I do know this boy. If I was your age, I'd get to know that gal. She's gonna be somebody to ride the river with. They don't make gals like that no more. Hey, sorry, pop me another one. Okay, you leaving guys or you take Good to see you, boys. Yeah, see you next route. You're out. Thank you. Yes, another beer. Thank you. Yeah, I'm looking for the Idaho kid. Are you out there, Idaho kid? I heard you break, Daddy Rabbit. Lay it on me. Over. I'm going to tell you a horse story, Idaho kid. You won't believe.
gonna set up a dust screen. Sure as hell ain't nothing to write home about. Dear Mom, a little girl just whooped your poor old son's ass again. Jay, I ain't got it in my mind I'm in some kind of dark holy crusade. Beginning now, you can include me out. That's two of us. Oh, Miss that? She makes it across this desert, then her back is gonna be ass. There's no way she's gonna get over on it. Jay, what the hell are we doing out here anyway? I mean, I could understand all this crap and we had some kind of chance of getting the horses and getting them back and getting some kind of money out of this thing and making a deal out of it. Say, we ain't got no chance now. And we're still out there chasing them. I just don't understand it. Come on, Hopper. You want that little bitch to make you a laughing stock in this whole county? Hell. I'm gonna teach that little lollipop a lesson. And all you two guys gotta do is watch. Jay, what the hell kind of lesson are you talking about? <laughs> you you get right going, right you shit. do it! Yeah, you damn right I do it! I do it myself. I don't need your help. I do it myself! Fine! I do it myself! Got it. 
Frank, 1-7. Yeah, go, Breaker. This is a wild turkey looking for Alabama Sam. You out there, Sam? Come back. Yeah, read you loud and clear, turkey. Come back. You heard about this little lady with the horses? She heard nothing else for the last couple of days. Did she make it? Come back. What can I do for you? Ain't seen a girl around here on a horse yesterday or today, have you? She the one with them Mustangs? Yeah. Sure ain't. How'd you come to know about that? My CB radio. The truckers ain't been talking about nothing else but her. Truckers? Well, if you was driving a Peterbilt worth $40,000, hauling a load worth 60, I reckon you'd be kind of cautious about a herd of wild horses on the road in front of you. Yeah, I suppose so. Listen, there's another place around here she might stop to get some food, is there? Well, there's a truck stop, but that's uh, 30 miles north on the interstate. Thank you. Get around, don't you, Letch? Where do you have? Why are you here? Tell me, did you get him across the Badlands? Yeah, I got him across. Tell that man in there I was taking the horses through the pass. Heard it only CB. CB? Yeah, funny how rumors get started, isn't it? Tell me why you're really here, Lutch. Keeping track of you. Job your brother gave you, huh? My brother doesn't know where I am, and I told you before, I ain't one of them. Then why are you following me around? I don't know. Well, you're not here for the hell of it. All right, I like you. You don't even know me. What I know, I like. I'd like to get to know you better. Trust me enough yet to tell me how you plan to get them horses over the path? You know, you get them into traffic, they're liable to just panic and run off or get themselves killed. I know. What's your plan, huh? To tell you the truth, Charlie, you have none. None at all. Having come all this way. I know, it sounds crazy. I just keep waiting to think of something. I just haven't thought of it yet. Well, there it is. I hope you think of it quick. I'll tell you, I've heard of horses on a truck and a highway. It ain't no picnic. No, man. Well, you ain't got to that highway yet. Still got another river to cross, you know. Ain't like this here teacup. I know, I know. You could leave them here, you know. Plenty of good water for them and grass. Yeah, but that'd defeat my purpose. In order for them to be safe, they have to be on federal land. When are you moving out? Tomorrow. I gotta go. Wait, I'm making you something to eat. See you later. 
later, Hank. You could have at least fixed the fire. Hey, thanks just the same. <sighs> he comes and he goes. Be good now. She's already got up to the river? Yes, sir. She's across the bad line. She should reach that pass around here tomorrow. Where are you? Well, I don't know the name of this place, but uh, it's the last truck stop before you get to the pass. Well, I'll be there before sun up. But you better understand one thing. If this is another dumb trick to get those horses, I'm going to break you like a stick of firewood. You hear me? Yes, sir. I hear you. But... It's not. What kind of myth? Back in three bins? Water. Want to sit down? Will it cost me? Well, now that depends. Whether or not you mind getting thrown in jail for a good cause. <laughs> what are you talking about, kid?
out of here a little bit? Yeah. Breaker 1-9. This is his tall man. You there, Daddy Rabbit? Come back. I copy you, tall man. Come on back. The future mother of America has reached the pass. Over. Uh, what you doing there, tall man? Come on. I don't know. She's just sitting there on her horse looking like she don't know whether to wind or watch or scratch her ass. Come on back. Nah, uh, we're with you, tall man. Come on. I'll tell you, Daddy Rabbit, the one thing I'm not short on is health. Silly Putty's right behind me. We also have with us the Memphis dealer and the Mad Gopher. Come on back. Okay, you know the territory. And go on. See you in jail. Daddy Rabbit, Daddy Rabbit, can you see her? Come back. Can you tell me what's going on here? No, nothing much. Just some horses headed for a new 1020. What? Yeah, a girl, lady, a girl. She's taking some horses across the pass. Well, how long are we going to be held up here? Beats the life out of me. Daddy Rabbit, Daddy Rabbit, do you read me? Can you see her? Over. Hello, love boat. This here's Daddy Rabbit. No, I don't see her yet, but uh, hang in there. I'll let you know. Can you tell me why you stopped this truck right in the middle of the highway? <laughs> Sir, I know you're going to find this hard to believe, but it's the problem. Well, all three of those trucks run out of gas at the same time. Okay, we're going to jog and we're going to take it. Yeah. But just get your dipstick if you don't believe me. <laughs> off the old block.
This has been one hell of a day, but I can't say it wasn't worth it. Running wild.